Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, ISIS, uh, as you have said, is a threat that we need to understand uh, has to be reckoned with. Um, I fear the West, especially the United States, underestimates them. They have, unlike many of the terrorist groups, they've set up governance in northern Iraq and in Syria. They tax the people. Uh, they're governing a community. Uh, they have oil. They have money. Uh, and they are determined fighters. And as you said, they have a lot of American equipment already. The United States for years has supplied equipment to the Iraqis and tried to train them. Um, and the first encounter with ISIS in northern Iraq, they cut and ran. A lot of Americans believe it was they just threw down some small arms and some MREs and some ammo and took off running. Not so. Here's an M1 tank that the Iraqi government was given by the United States. Confronted with ISIS, they bailed, and now ISIS controls an M1 tank belonging to the American citizens. Here's the parade that they celebrated after capturing uh, several Humvees abandoned by uh, the Iraqis that we subsidize. And at the bottom, what to me is the most alarming, these are four Humvees, American-made, given to the Iraqi troops uh, to fight uh, ISIS. Uh, and after they cut and ran, they were abandoned. And now this is on a Syrian truck, or an ISIS truck, headed to Syria to fight in Syria. I think we underestimate who these people are. Uh, foreign fighters uh, for ISIS are already coming back to Europe and launching attacks. Monday, Germany held its first trial of alleged German-born jihadists. In May of 2014, a terrorist affiliated with ISIS killed three people at the Jewish mu Museum in Brussels. British Prime Minister David Cameron said last week that there have already been at least six planned terrorist attacks in the EU countries from ISIS. Uh, and the threat won't stay in Europe, as the Australians have already found out this week. Because they come from visa waiver countries, many of these individuals are able to travel to the U.S. Uh, we have to work with uh, European friends to identify and track foreign jihadists fighting in Syria. We also must convince them that this is a group to be reckoned with. They are a threat to all civilized peoples. Uh, they cannot be allowed to return home to continue their jihad. I have introduced uh, H.R. 5406, the Foreign Terrorist Organization Passport Revocation Act, exactly for this purpose. This bill uh, calls for the State Department to revoke U.S. passports for individuals who are uh, fighters for any foreign terrorist organization or helping to support uh, an FTO in any way. American citizens that fight for ISIS are traitors. They are Benedict Arnolds, and they're not welcome back in the U.S. Uh, and with that, Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back.